Hi guys, we're here setting up another fish tank. This is in our kitchen on the ledge. Yep. It's a 12 gallon. Yep, 12 gallon bookshelf tank. So it's three feet wide by eight feet deep and, or not, eight, eight feet, eight feet eight, deep. Eight inches deep <laughs> and nine inches tall. Um, it is made by Mr. Aqua, because we talked about what the last one was made out of. Or made by. Um, I got this tank from my coworker for a lot cheaper than it would be normally. Um, I paid ninety dollars for it. The light, which fell behind the tank a little bit before we started recording, but I'll pick it up. Um, and the filter, which lid is somewhere in the living room. Um, but I already had the heater. The sand I bought online. It's pool filter sand from Amazon. You can buy it cheaper at Home Depot or Lowe's, but I didn't. I don't have a way to get there, um, and I didn't want to have to ask Matthew, so I just paid $20 to have a 50-pound bag shipped to the house. Um, it's really cheap. Um, well, it's cheap. It's normally like five pounds at a hardware store, but I, it was, I paid 20 pounds for it. It looks kind of like... $20. <laughs> um, it looks kind of gray. Let me show them that. But um, once it's under the water, it's a lot more white. Um, it's just because the water's drained right now. I've actually had it cycling for a few days. It's not done, obviously, but um, I just drained the water out for this. I just put the water in there straight dry. Um, I test it before I put it in there, and it doesn't really need to be rinsed like some sands need to be some some pool filter sands do need to be rinsed and you need to do that but this kind did not this brand um i might put it in the comments of the video like on my own account or send it to mom in the description or i've got just ask if you want to know the brand of sand we'll tell you pause one sec okay um, but yeah, if you guys want the sand and stuff in there, if you decide to set up your own tank, uh, let us know in the comments and I'll look it up for you guys. Um, the dirt in there is the same stuff we used for mom's tank. Um, I'm using this type of sand just for the aesthetics. It's a little more difficult to maintain because it can get anaerobic pockets, but I bought snails to help fix that problem. Um, a filter is a tidal filter. It's a really like nice high quality hang on the back. Um, and this is just like a, a heater I got off of Amazon. And then the backing, this is a see-through tank, but yeah. she put a black backing on it. Yeah. So, because the, you see the curtain back there, that's Michelle's room mm -hmm. for now until we move in a year. Yeah. Um, so she didn't want to be able to see the curtain through the tank. Mm -hmm. The black also offers better framing for the plants. Pretty much everyone does put black black or frosted backgrounds on their tank. Um, the flugel upstairs in mom's room came with it because of the way it's it's an all-in-one tank. Um, obviously, this one's not an all-in-one. And then another thing I did do with this um, this filter is I took out the these, the ceramic bio balls. Um, if you had a... Um, if you bought a filter and wanted to do the same thing, just take the cartridge out, buy sponge, oh, where she went, You're recording. buy sponge, and you have a better biomedia, um, like I said, it'll also replace the cartridge, um, those cartridges are kind of a scam. So I have, for this tank, a different type of wood than the last one. We have, this is called Oko Stone or Dragon Stone. It has all these really cool holes. I can't tell if I'm in frame because mom walked away. Um, but has all these cool holes in it. I got a bunch of different sizes. So this is the really big oh, piece. Okay. This is, yeah, it's it's just uh, the piece broke off. Pieces break off of this pretty easy because um, of the how thin it is. But this is the really big piece. Um, Lift it up a little higher. There you go. 
See all those holes in there. Um, I got these from Home Depot. It was eighty dollars for forty-four pounds, which is a lot of money to spend on rocks, but it's it's that's really cheap for this type of rock. Um, they also sell the stereo stone. I just didn't have a use for that much when we set up mom's tank. Um, I'm probably not going to use everything I've already rinsed. That is another thing. It does get a lot of dirt and stuff. And mud and clay in these little holes. Um, and I definitely did not get it all out of here. But it's not a huge deal. If anything, it'll just make the water a little cloudy. Um... So we're going to skip this tank. I also got, this is dragon wood in here. The water in there is brown because of tannins. Tannins do not hurt the tank. This type of wood, however, also has a slime that it naturally releases during the first month or so that will hurt fish. Um, so you need to soak it in the tank for quite a while. Um, or if you already have fish outside of the tank. Um, the water in there is brown from the tannins. I've been pouring boiling water over it to try and wash those out because it's too big to fit in the pot. Um, the wood is too big for the tank, but that's on purpose. What we're going to do is put plants growing at the top of it. We actually bought a, um, that's a Radiophora tetrasperma or Monstera guinea. It's not a true Monstera, but it looks like one, so it's... It's basically a mini monstera, so that's about how big the leaves get. Because monstera plants with those split leaves get like three foot long leaves eventually, but those ones stay small. Um, it's not doing so great, it just came in today, so I'm giving it some time to kind of adjust. And then I'm going to snip the top and put the top in the back of the tank. Um, I also have some other plants that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit, but that's what we've got going on right now. Um, I'm going to, I guess, start with the hardscape, this big old rock. Um, I always start with the biggest pieces first. Obviously be very careful. Um, so what made you want to put it over on that side? That side, so I'm, hi the, I'm hiding the filter right now. Um, this side of the tank is the one that people are going to be seeing as they walk by. Um, I am going to be putting plants here in this corner, but I don't want the filter and things to be over there. Um, but since I have to put more on this side, I am putting the majority of the hardscape is going to be on this side, reaching over. So that way when you look in through here, you can still see the fish, you can still see like into the tank a bit. I mean, I'm just going to put some hardscape over here too, but most of it's going to be here to kind of can also, hide that. Yep, it's well, gonna, you're going to float a plant right there too, I'm right? I'm going to float several plants back there too, yes. Um, trying to adjust it, make sure there's space for the filter and the heater and everything. Um, I also brought down the sand level. I had some sand in here as well um, that I took out for this. Um, and I'm going to bury them up with sand because you can kind of see the dirt. I don't know if they can, but there's you can see the dirt in the bottom of the tank. Um, but I'm going to cover that with more sand. Got this big old piece of dragon wood. Um, and I'm adding that in now because it's a, it's a big piece. And I want to make sure that I room for it and so you can see how it comes out the top of the tank that gives us sorry uh, places to put more plants so we can put like a pothos just like the ivy plants you usually see out here you can put some air plants maybe even like an orchid because they like humidity and with all those plants at the top their roots are going to go into the water and they'll actually remove nutrients um, so they'll help keep the tank clean too, even better than live plants. I mean, not live plants, and even better than aquarium plants. Because uh, plants that grow in the air are always going to grow faster than ones that grow underwater because they have more um, CO2. Uh, stick another piece in there. 
Here we I'm go. looking for with this rock because it looks so. D I mean, the, we did this with the Sari stone too, but you're looking for the most interesting side. You also, with these holes, kind of want them to go the same direction. Um, it makes it look a little more natural. If you want them to go different directions, that's totally up to you. It's not like a this is the end of the world thing. It's just an aesthetic thing. I prefer it that way. If you don't, hey, that's you. That's, that's you, you know, you get to do that. It's for your enjoyment, not for other people's enjoyment. Um, I also do not like to mix rock con the types in my tanks, but again, some people like to do that. That's, that's you. This is supposed to be a fun hobby, and some people can be kind of jerks about it. Some people can make big messes. Yeah, I'm making a mess. So. Are we surprised, though? No. Yeah? <laughs> so I've got a little bit of a smaller piece. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of space here, because I don't want it to be all in the front. Um, it's kind of happened that there's definitely... As long as I hide the base of this raw uh, this wood, by the way, it'll look like it goes all the way down. Um, that's a little weird. Ideally, you'll give yourself the space to be able to wipe the out wipe the glass if you need to. Um, I'm gonna rinse this a little bit. Rinse off some of this. And I also, I bought the largest rocks I could. Um, I was hoping they'd reach at the top, but they did not. None of them are big enough for that. That's not enough either. Okay. Um, but I kept these, honest, because these this big one is one of the smallest rocks that was in that box. Um, she took a hammer outside and yeah. broke it up. I went and I took the bigger a bigger rock and all these smaller rocks um are part of the the biggest rock that was in there that's not the gravy you get stuck in there mm, that's... okay oh and i just remember that it, i'm going to be able to bury it more so it's not a big deal that that rock is floating a little bit um yeah so i took most of sand out because these rocks are so big that you want to be able to um bury them uh, so that they have more support. I was going to use um, a uh, plastic egg crate. Not like you put eggs in. It's the stuff that they use. They sell at Lowe's for lighting. It's a light diffuser. So it's just a plastic grid. Um, but like, I, like I said, you use for light diffusing. It's totally aquarium safe. I was going to silicone the rocks to that. But I realize that silicone takes like a week to cure fully, and I don't have that patience. Someone wants to say hi. Oh, you getting a puppy break? Say hi. Say yes, I need my hair cut. <laughs> you gonna say hi? He has no idea what's he's going like, on. Leave he thinks me alone. he's getting a bath. That's what happened. Sleep. You just pulled him over the sink and he only ever goes... Oh, now you're going to kiss me. He's grateful. He's thinking you were giving him a bath. Travis gave him a bath in the bathtub upstairs yesterday. Yeah, and I'm going through this piece also needs to rinse a little bit. Um, again, I'm not going to get it all. There's no way. But if I see a big clump of dirt... She's going to have this filtering for, a few, for quite a while before yeah. she puts any fish in there. So any dirt that comes off in the water will be filtered out. And this, this take, also, what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to find a piece that looks good there. Because I feel like this space is a little empty. And I would like to have... I like that. You think you like that? Mm-hmm. That fits in there. Yeah. That one looks good, too. I'm just adjusting it a little bit. Again, you see I have it all, them all pointing the same direction. It would be, what it look, the reason why it looks more natural... Um, I mean, some people can't tell, but it's just a rule is because in the in the in nature these rocks would all have been part of one rock that got broken up and when that happens the rock doesn't just like get randomly shaped like these occlusions um 
they will we would all be facing the same direction even if the rock was broken and shattered and all that in nature they'd all be parallel lines or at least close to parallel lines um, I like that side um, I think that's good this piece is floating but it does it blends in well enough that you would believe that those two are attached or at least at one point were attached I might stick another little piece right in here um, this is a lot of just what looks good as well I don't want the bottom of that wood because you can see the bottom in there I don't want to use up all of my pieces is that all of the rocks that I have up here on the counter with me yeah, there's more in the box, but they're too big for me to break up, and they're too big for the tank. How are they too big to break up? I mean, I could if I tried long enough, but they're really thick. I would need help for some, from somebody. You just um, take a screwdriver and hammer it in there. Um, there we go. Yep. Um, so I'm happy with that right there. Actually, I like, I wish this piece was a little pointier, but. There we go. And that's gonna, oh, no, that's not. Do you have enough room to get in there and wipe the glass down if you need to? The front, I can kind of. Um, not there, but I can move the rocks around a little bit whenever I need to do that. Um, I don't plan on needing to do it, but... And so it's more of a, oh crud, the tank is having problems, so I need to go clean it sort of thing. I'm just looking, at, by the way guys, I'm just looking at it from this other angle and seeing that you can see a very clear gap. Um, and I'm trying to fill that gap in. Um, by the way, I know it seems like I'm taking up a lot of the space in the tank with just this rock. Um, the fish will be able to go back there. So while it is taking up a lot of the open space, this is still space for the fish. The fish still have this area and they can also go back there and hide if they're nervous. They can go in between the rocks too. Yeah, they can go in between here. They can go... They can't go in this exact spot right here because there's it's touching the glass, but that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so I'm not taking any space away from the fish. I'm just... Is it not? I'm going to do something here. Might not because that filter's in the way. doing what I did a little bit. I'm just trying to add a little bit more movement because I felt like it was a little, it was too much going on right here, like it was too square. Oh, come on. rocks will also be more stable once we add in the more sand. And obviously a fish isn't going to be able to knock them over, so. Yeah. Can you? What? I need some of that. I want to use some of the sand to balance the rocks. Where is it? Right behind you. So I'm going to put some sand around here, not worried about um, 
it not it's staying off the rocks because it's gonna wash off once I fill up the tank. Cover it up a bunch of times. It was a little tiny rock that fell over. That's how it was. There is also a lot of this with aquascaping, um, as you're adjusting and readjusting. Yep, because you you want it to look good. Do you have a little rock you can set underneath of it? That's what I was trying to do, but it didn't work out. trying to change it now. Hopefully they can see better now with that light coming in the patio door was causing a glare, glare right on that corner you're working on. Yeah. She's sitting on the counter and she's going to take a step back. <laughs> Should we go break some more rocks? Actually, that should be okay. Most of the roots of the plants are going to be in underneath this, behind this rock, so that I can, it'll be filled in. I was just worried about that space feeling empty. It didn't look empty. Um, okay. The other cool thing that you guys can do, especially because we broke up these rocks, we have a lot of little pieces. Like a little rubble, my hands are covered in sand. Up higher. There you go. Pieces of rubble. Um, from when I broke up the rock. So what I'm going to do is just pretty hard to reach in there. I can't do that yet actually. That's gonna be the last step because I need to I put need in to more work. sand. Yep, I almost forgot. Before we do that, I'm gonna take these guys out too because they're small. Um, I'm going to move over here and do this side. This side doesn't have any wood in it. 
it's gonna be a little less. May actually not end up using this for a lot. And that's another thing not to be scared of, guys. Do not be afraid to use a lot of hardscape. Um, it makes your tank look more full. Um, the only downside is that you can't fit as many plants in there. Um, and she didn't. took a lot of plants out of my tank because it was getting overgrown. Yeah. So she has a lot of plants. guys are just beginning as well I also personally recommend going to a fish store and buying this stuff yourself most fish stores will sell these kinds of woods and rocks these are very common in aquariums like planted aquariums um, most decently sized fish stores will have them and you can pick out the pieces you like like this piece right here has a flat top and then I'm not a, I don't really like that but I'm going to make it work and it's a little harder when your pieces might not be as good to make it make it look really good like maybe make yourself happy with it um So if you, you can even, if you want to, um, get the floors, to get the size of your tank, like on a, like cut out a piece of paper the same size, like a piece of cardboard or something, bring it with you to the store, the fish store, and you can range it there. Um, they might, sometimes they'll give you a weird look. I've never done it before, but I, it's, it's something people do do. Um, some fish stores even have it already set up where you can do that. Or you can just arrange it on the ground, um. It really depends on the place. I'm just trying to find something good to fill in this little area. Though I'm not sure if anything's gonna work there. Well, I'll try. No, that's not gonna work. I think that's gonna be Do you want to go break some more rocks? Uh, not particularly because I did not enjoy it the first time. Jesus, don't do that. That's a bad thing, guys. Do not let that happen. <laughs> wider side down put it just like it is just flip it over so the wide sides at the bottom Why? Yeah, I mean, it's like you didn't like it no I like it I'm just I was just trying to balance it I like the, I was just worried about the angle um but I think that's good what do you think about it I think it's good awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and add sand uh, I'm sloping this tank pretty dramatically because I don't have to worry about the overflow like we did in the fluval. I don't know what happened to That's that. That's my fish tank. Yes. It overflowed very badly. <laughs> All over my dresser that's now warped. Well, it might have been warped before, but... So... With sloping, what sloping does is, I think I mentioned it a little bit, but it's going to make this tank look a lot deeper than it actually is. Um, it's just an illusion. I'm gonna get sand everywhere. 
It's all right. You can clean it. Yeah. Um. With dirty taints, I don't recommend doing a really a slope um, unless you've done it before and you know how to handle deep sand bed, which I do, which is me handling it. Riz referring to the Malaysian trumpet snails that are going to keep it. Um, don't even know the word. Clean? Yeah, aerated. So they dig through the sand, and what they're going to do is they're going to make sure there's no air bubbles or anything in there, because mm. um, the air bubbles are annoying. But yeah, that's why we have got that ki that specific kind of sand for your tank is to prevent the air bubbles. Because um, if you have too much of a fine sand like this is, then it will, like I said, get air bubbles, and it's not great. It won't hurt anything for the most part, um, but it's annoying. You'll be walking by and you'll see like a, a bubble of air pop, like bubble up from inside your tank. My fish are sick, so she had to treat them, mm -hmm. give them some medicine. Um, for people who know about fish, they got uh, camelimus worms or however it's pronounced. They're little red worms um, that live inside of the fish and basically eat it from the inside but yeah did they get that from the gravel or from the dirt probably the plants uh. um. did you treat the plants you took out not yet but I'm gonna do it before I add fish well cuz the, the worms they need a fish to survive so if I put the plants in here, it won't matter if there are eggs on the plants because they won't have food while the tank is cycling. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm still, I might still treat them, we'll see. They're going to move this guy to the side temporarily. can't really see back there. I don't know why. Hmm? Oh, to why cover, to co make it. sure the dirt's covered. Oh. I'm just putting some back there. Oh, I thought you were sloping it. No. I was just making sure it's all evenly distributed back there. Um, I think what we're probably going to do is actually make it a two part because I wasn't thinking about how long it was going to take. Um, so I'm not done yet, but once I'm done, we're going to stop and then we're going to start again and I'm going to add some of the plants. You were at 33 minutes. Okay. So not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. My get ready with me for last at least an hour. Okay. <laughs> so you think we should keep going? Yeah. For now, yeah. Go ahead. I, mean, I mean, when we're done, or to, to the end, I mean. We'll see. Okay. Also, I'm still waiting on some plants to come, um, the, some top plants. So we may end up doing an up uh, part two anyways, just of me adding those plants. Yeah. We'll see. Because you plant them after you fill it back up, right? Yep. So when you get the sand done, we'll pause it. While you fill it up? Well, I'm going to add, I have the water plants I need to add before we fill it up. So. How are you going to add the water plants without water in it? I'm going to add the water plants and then we're going to slowly fill it up. Like we did in your tank. Well, that's what I was asking you. Do you plant the... Oh, I thought you were talking about the top plants. The no, those plants. just sit in there. <sighs> What you thinking, Mom? You think it's gonna look cool? Yeah, it already looks cool. Are you jealous you didn't put this one in your room? No. It's too big for anywhere in my room. I, I mean, too long. Yeah, my tank is actually bigger. Yeah, but this that's tank long. Is a, honestly, a small tank. It's really cool how you can have a long tank 
and it looks so much bigger than it actually is because this tank is very small yeah i mean it's three gallons smaller than yours And it is important to make sure you get sand everywhere. Um, that's a little much, but it'll even out. Or I'll, I'll, I'll even it out myself if I have to. I'm putting extra back here in this corner, just because that's where the filter's gonna be and it will happily cause problems. Um, it's actually easier to add the sand in dry, by the way, guys. This is just me being... She, she had the tank filtering, so the sand she took out was wet, obviously, yeah. so... But it's easier to add the sand and, um, not only a plant in, but it's easier to add the sand dry. Um, because you don't have to grab clumps of it like I am. And it basically self-levels itself. fry because my hands are covered in sand and I don't like it. Um, it. It looks a lot like granulated sugar, by the way, especially when it's dry. It's actually slightly uh, transparent and not um, not white sand. Like It's not colored or anything. It just looks white. Um, so I'm going to be adding these little pebbles around. That's not actually, I don't like that one. The good one's got to love the little pebbles. The other benefit, like I said, of breaking up your rocks. I intentionally ordered them larger than I needed them to be. I mean, they ended up being smaller than I expected, but that's that's life. Not too much smaller than I expected. They were still within the range advertised, but I don't like that. Why did I do that? Again, uh, adding these little pebbles gives it the look of like these are a big old rock or two big old rocks that broke up. They were crushed by something or just nature. And over time they turned into smaller and smaller rocks. We will have to do a part two because my battery's not going to make it. Okay. Um, I'm almost done with the pebbles and then we can pause and you can plug your phone in. And then you can clean up the sand. Yeah, this back there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's much better with sand in there. Not even. That one says nope. Really, it really does. There we go. Actually, I don't like that. Why? There we go. Don't knock that thing off the counter behind you, the sand. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, I think we're good. Good pause. Okay, we will be back in part two, guys.